welcome to play-by-play -play sports D broadcast Dallas edition. I'm Carson Cruel along with Gus Muldren and Clay and Clayton Richards. A lot has happened in the sports world since last summer, so we will try to catch you up on this great year of sports for some and not so great for others. Let's start with a not so great. The Dallas Mavericks and Luka Doncic had high hopes heading into the season. They're coming off a top four finish in the West and even made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals before falling to the eventual champion, Golden State Warriors. Many people were even picking Luka to grab his first MVP award before the season began. They started out the year pretty well, going 22-16, and 16, heading into 2023. However, Doncic and company got off to a slow start in the new year and decided they needed a change to spark them in the second half of the season. The Mavs did just that in trading for eight-time All-Star and former NBA champion Kyrie Irving. This trade, unfortunately, did not have the desired effect. In fact, it may have had the, done the opposite. The Mavericks fell completely out of the playoffs, going 2-9 and nine in their final 11 games and finishing the year 38-44. and 44. Even Lucas Heroics averaging over 32 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists for the season. This team has a lot to figure out heading into next season. We now talk about the stars that shined brightest in Dallas sports, and that, of course, is the Dallas Stars hockey team. They were incredibly consistent all year long, being one of the best in the West throughout the whole NHL season. The Stars would finish only one point behind the reigning Stanley Cup champion, Avalanche, for first in the Central Division. They were led by superstar Jason Robinson, who led the team in both goals and assists, picking up the first 100-point season in team history along the way. The Stars looked primed to make a run to the Stanley Cup, defeating the Minnesota Wild in Round 1 and the Seattle Kraken in Round 2. Unfortunately, in the Western Conference Finals, they quickly found themselves down three games to none to the top-seeded Vegas Golden Knights. They fought back heroically, talk, talk, taking both games four and five to make it to a series. But in game six, it was all Knights, winning the clinching game six by a score of six to zero. The future on the ice is bright as ever for the Stars. We'll see what next season brings. Finally, we have the two teams that play out in Arlington. Through both... Um, Though both, uh, though last season was a bust for the Rangers, they have started off hot. They currently lead their division ahead of in-state rival and defending World Series champion, the Houston Astros. Jacob deGrom's injury is a big blow, but the Rangers are still in the driver's seat early in the season. Across the parking lot is another season of ups and downs for the Cowboys. It all started with week one injury to quarterback Dak Prescott. Backup uh, quarterback Cooper Rush was able to step in and do a decent job leading the Cowboys to a 4-1 record. As a starter, when Dak returned to the field, he led the league in interceptions, but the boys were, would still finish up the season 12-5, and five, a good enough spot for a wild card. In the first round, they were able to avenge the week one loss against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, and what happened to be Brady's final game. In round two, the Cowboys faced off with the San Francisco 49ers, who had the number one defense in the league. The offense could not find its stride, and Dallas would fall to the Niners 19-12. The lo this loss meant the streak of not reaching an NFC title game since 1995 would continue. The Cowboys have just as many questions as answers heading into this upcoming season, and we'll see if they can finally break that long streak. Well, that well, that's all we have uh, today for my co-host uh, Clayton Richards and um, Gus uh, Gus Moulton. This has been a play-by-play sports <laughs> broadcast Dallas edition. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>